I'm tired of living like a slave. I'm tired of kissing their ass. I'm tired of allowing them to mistreat us any type of way and nothing never happened to them. I'm tired of trying to deal with their court system and deal with their laws that's made against us. I'm tired of trying to go through their voting system. I'm tired, y'all. I'm done, y'all. I can't take it no more. And then this last stunt they just pulled trying to hurt my mom and come in my family members and the bullshit they on me. Uh-uh. So y'all got my attention. But I want to let the people that really follow me know this. Like I say, it's nothing but Shaka Zulu energy with me. It's always been that. So at the end of the day, it's a 3T effect. The truth, let's break it down real quick. I advise y'all to screen record the live because I'm not going to save it. You feel me? So all my YouTubers that do support the university and y'all being here really learning and making y'all own YouTube versions, you know I support y'all. Screen record this shit because I'm not. I'm deleting it. All right? Look, this is my theory. The 3T effect all through history. You always have when people, they be lost because we've been lied to. And you got that one or two per people that they stumble upon the truth. Be it self-initiation, be it them going through something in life where the ancestors took them through something they use that as a medium to make them want to seek out more knowledge and start their spiritual journey. But whatever it may be, all throughout history, you always have people that discover the truth. The first thing a person does once he or she discovers the truth, you know what they do? They become zealous. Overzealous, to be honest, because ain't nothing like finding out the truth. I'm talking about, especially when it comes to us. Nothing is like being lied to your whole life, right? Only to find out that every day, they, they told you told me and my people we wasn't shit. That's what y'all teach us in school to this day. But you get on the news and tell me and my people shit has changed. You told you stole our names. Stole our land. Stole our customs, our history. Took our basic true religions like voodoo and hoodoo and lied and told us it was evil and witchcraft. We built them railroads. Ain't no Asian motherfuckers do that, but that's what y'all taught us in school, though. We the brain behind every invention around us, be it natural, supernatural, or what y'all like to call man-made. That's too much truth. So when we discover that truth, we become zealous. We be, we like Richard Pryor was in that skit I showed y'all on my wall. Oh, shit, this us. We did this, we did. Oh, shit. I got to go tell everybody. That's how we get. Because you, America, you, queen, I'm putting a stamp on all y'all ass. Y'all want me? We, 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 this is cracking. Like I always put a stamp on y'all, Queen Elizabeth, the Vatican. CIA, FBI, and whoever else y'all want to use to come against me with lies of who I am out here for my people. Man, what haven't I been called while I've been here? Man? Y'all told me I wasn't shit as a kid growing up in Chicago that I would make it past 21. Call me a thug, a game banger, drug dealer, as if you didn't put us, you didn't set up that social system, you set it up for us, though. You did that. I got homies never coming home. You deem a murderer. For gun, but you put them guns in the community, though. Yeah, and you squeeze them triggers, too. You got mercenary groups riding around killing my people. Got my people thinking it's them killing each other. That's a lot of truth. You hear me? Nigga, these is tears, though. You know when you get to that moment, that mode... When you know you, you've already said it in your mind, 
what your intent is. This avatar has been fun while I've had it, but it is not who I am. And now I have to come up out of it to show y'all. To remind y'all who I am. What I am. That's too much truth. A lot of us ain't know that them guns is made out of our carbon till I told them. That's too much truth. A lot of us didn't know that it was a tribe called the Illinois Confederacy and that tribe covered the whole day modern Midwest. And Chicago was named after Chief Chicago, Chief of the Illinois. A lot of us ain't know that till I said that. Till I was told to remind my species that. That's too much truth. I became too zealous. I told too many. Especially when I started telling y'all about Hollywood and all of that. Ooh. If only you knew I have never lied about nothing when I talked about Hollywood at all at all. Guess what though? That's too much truth. And I told too many. Millions. So now with that, what does that make me? We move to the second T. A threat. The first T is discovering truth. You become the threat once you begin to spread the truth that you have discovered. You listen to me clearly if you never listen to me a day in your motherfucking life. That's when you become the threat. You think Rashad Jamal isn't a threat out here to the establishment? You ask yourself that. And once the establishment deems you a threat, I'm telling y'all to walk off their jobs. That will that will crack their infrastructure. They don't play when you play with their money. I told y'all, fuck taxes, boy. I might as well hunger and rope around my goddamn neck. That's too much truth. Now I'm not, I, I was in the true phase, then I moved to the threat. Now I'm at, let's terminate him. We've already warned him. We took his social media, we sent him emails, told him we was going to kill his ass. I guess he thought we was playing. Nothing will shut Rashad Jamal up. He's still talking. We even sent the YouTubers at him to try to discourage him. He's still talking. He's teaching these people about magic. Prosperity magic. This man literally manifested all his wealth just so he could prove to his people that you don't need to work to get it. If only you knew. I went to jail on a case and walked out with no lawyer. You know, anybody just can't do that. I had five witnesses testify against me my first degree to murder charge. That was another time they tried to take my life. False charges put on me. And they took it and ran with it and locked me up to take my life to stop me from doing what I've been doing, doing today. I see YouTubers and people saying, he got to be an agent because he just blew up out of nowhere. He ain't even been out a year. Look at all this. No, it's called when this is your mission. The universe will flock to it. A lot of y'all that get on YouTube, that's not your mission. That's not what you was put here to do. So that's why people don't flock to you. That's why you had to make five to six years of YouTube lectures for motherfuckers to even flock to you. Because that's not your mission. No different than when I was rapping. Now how many years I put into rapping and it ain't getting nowhere. But I only been teaching publicly less than a year. And look at this. See how it works. I rather this came from rapping. You would have told me two years ago, nigga, you're going to be teaching publicly. I would have said, get your bitch ass out of my face. This been me. I've been deep. You can pull anybody up, know me. This been me since I was a baby. But I was scared to come out publicly and be myself. Folks in them going to judge me if I show how scientific I really am. 
Lord, they might not fuck with me no more if I show them how scientific and smart I really am. So let me dumb myself down and just limit myself to shooting guns and game banking. That's what I did. But the ancestors took me through that so that I can be able to go save those in the trenches. Y'all wonder why I've always said here with no shirt on, nigga. When I lecture, smoke my weed. Nigga, because Jesus, nigga, hung with the bombs, nigga. He hung with the prostitutes, nigga. He hung with the perps, nigga. He hung with the with the motherfuckers that sin. You go read that goofy ass story in the Bible, nigga, because it's a strong lesson in it. That's what I do. Nigga, I'm, I, I'm talking to the streets, nigga. I'm talking to the jungle, nigga. I ain't worried about the gods and goddesses that's already woke. Y'all, the least of my concerns, y'all already woke. I get on here every day to go get those who still stuck in that mental slavery. I'm cool with the gay people. I'm cool with white people that ain't racist. I'm cool with the gang members. I'm cool with the killers. I'm cool with the robbers. I relate to them. I don't judge them. I seek to uplift. But at the same time, I'm cool with the nerds. I'm cool with those that went to college. I'm cool with those that never been in the streets. I'm cool with... Because I understand the bigger picture. Y'all ain't for y'all people. Y'all only gonna try to save the motherfuckers that know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all don't even try to get on here and break it down for the people that's trying to find themselves, but they don't know them big ass words. You inconsiderate motherfuckers. Ain't none of you bitches really than Rashad Jamal. Niggas doing this shit for views, nigga. You ain't never thugged in no streets, so you ain't gonna thug with them. I call all you house Negroes out, and all y'all can do is gang up on me, nigga. Even when I used to call you niggas out to fight, giving all you bitch ass niggas a chance. Ain't not a nigga sent the email, a voice, a phone call. I said I had 50,000 over any celebrity got an issue with me sending their name. I'll beat all type of teeth out your face. Ain't none of you bitch ass niggas responding to you niggas know who I am. Y'all know people I know. All that is a small ass circle ain't not a nigga responding. When y'all came to me telling me to reach out to Pharaoh, I did it. Then he got on some feminist shit. I called him an agent out of spite. But do I believe Pharaoh's really an agent no matter what he say about me? Because I'm not going to lower my frequency. No, he's being attacked too hard. So you got to know something. If you see somebody getting attacked, they're not an agent. Agents don't get attacked. Prime example. Cappy Pondexter, a black woman, accuses a black man of child molestation because she said he did something with her son. Child sex, sex trafficking. Said he sex trafficking women. And pedoph with pedophilia, child sex trafficking, child all that what, what she basically said. Well, ain't the charge came to LeBron. He ain't went in custody or nothing. You tell me if you think I've ever lied to you. Think about that. It ain't about whether he did it or not. Nigga, motherfucker, say you did something right now. That's how fucked up they law is because the law is set up for your ass to go to jail. To kill you or jail you. A motherfucker, you could be in another country, a motherfucker say you did something right now, they're going to still put the case on you and charge you, nigga. That's the law. And that's what a lot of goofy motherfuckers don't know. Well, they, they can't charge you if they ain't got no, no evidence. What? Your goofy ass ain't never been to jail. Or know nobody that went to jail. It's niggas sitting in jail right now, ain't never coming home behind some shit they ain't do. And you got niggas walking the streets that did it. Like Ply said before he sold out, puss ass cracker give a nigga 100 years. Hey, your mama leaving out the courtroom in tears. Take a nigga life from now, know how I feel. Crackers playing dirty games, boy, this shit real. You ain't got to pay lawyer, don't, boy, don't go to trial. Crackers owe each other favors, they'll swap you out. You hear me? That wasn't no rap when he said that. You goofies? You goofies. So that's why I never get caught up in none of no shit that the media going to say. I know the game. But guess what? A lot of you, a lot of house Negroes, they not on that frequency. They want to see me dead. They don't want me out here because I'm the nigga that's going to 
stand on niggas' necks every time. You can count on it. He be like, look, I know Rashad Jamal, he ain't gonna hold no punches. These other niggas who try to be nice with niggas and try to, he ain't gonna do none of that. And if he's wrong, he will apologize. We've seen it all with him. We've seen him give back to his people. We've seen him apologize when he's wrong. I ain't seen no pride in him yet. Nigga didn't get him here with all type of stains on his teeth. And he'll tell you, that, he'll let you know, I ain't brush my teeth yet, y'all, but I'm gonna kick the lecture off. How much really can I get with that? Get, get, get in that. It don't get no realer than that. I ain't got on this bitch with crust in my eyes, look, y'all got crust in my eyes. Hair not did, face looking all rough. Y'all know I'm not on. Come on, man. Nobody does what I do because they be scared. Just like I don't see nobody doing what Kylie do. He'd get, he'd get up there and walk up to 12 and then get the check in they bitch ass. Nigga, y'all don't belong here. That's why I love him. And I feel like I ain't never seen Kylie sneak diss me at all, nigga. But the rest of you bitch ass niggas be sneak this. Niggas mad about that I'm getting more views than them. What? You worry about views, nigga? I wish I had fewer views because all them views ain't do a number of fueling on least the attacker, nigga. I ain't, I ain't never said I'm y'all no leader, y'all leader. But they did me that. Like I said, damn, the CIA called me a leader. So they studied my lectures. They admire how I'm thinking. It's someone eating mangoes, letting my speeches tango. Why did I say that? Because anybody know that when the government is doing is staking you out, they be in this little car eating their little snacks and shit. Or they little vans listening. I've always told y'all what they on with me. All you got to do is listen. This thing, I ain't never told. So y'all should be shocked when it comes to the day where I'm like, listen, in the event of my timely demise, I loved every last one of y'all. But I'm like Killmonger G. And if I got to leave my avatar to prove that to y'all, that's what's going to happen. Because that might be what it takes for y'all to rise the way y'all need to down here. Hopefully it do. Because me, all gloves is off. You know? When you do shit like you just did, all gloves is off. I don't want to talk, I don't want to nothing. And I don't care what story y'all put out. Y'all try to slide on me like I've been telling y'all. Y'all slide on me, nigga. I'll, nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm going everywhere but to jail, nigga. I've been documenting this in every life. Because every truth teller before me has been succumbed to either jail or death by the elite. You can go all the way back to Jesus Christ if you do want to believe in him. If you do want to believe in the Bible, you go look and tell me what prophet wasn't falsely jailed or killed. Right. Right. And all soft bitch made niggas want to do is sit there and wait till something happened and be like, oh, well, we love them. We love her. Nigga, why don't you? Why you ain't sliding with me right now? Why you ain't in the house right now? Like, look, Rashad Jamal on live. Something got to be going on for him to go like that. All I know is this. I know what's going on in the country. I know what's going on in the planet. And at the end of the day, he said they trying to kill his wife, his family, him. Behind certain videos he didn't put out. He been saying this. I see them attacking him. So am I going to stay on this live and watch? Or am I going to really get in mode and get ready? And spread the word to people that I know. About. Listen, we got one of our leaders, man. Down there in Georgia. Racist ass Georgia. The deep south. I speak out against fucking the elites and pizza gate. All they bitch ass in the deep south. Where I'm at in Georgia. You don't have no clue the risk I've put myself under just speaking out like that being in Georgia. <laughs> you know? Because I don't move for no fear. Just like in the Bible again, Jesus was a sacrifice for everybody else to move a certain way. They don't tell you that part. Bro, it's going to always have to be somebody, bro, to put their foot down. We going to keep fearing their law unless we stand up to them. The only people we fear is the police, y'all. That's why when we see the police beating somebody up, we don't do shit. Niggas just record. Because you want to live. You don't want to change. You want to live in this matrix. When you won't change, nigga, the last thing going to be on your mind is living in this matrix. Because before I live here a slave another second longer, America, y'all might as well get ready to try to deport me back to the Astros. And you better hope... That these primordial energies and these ancestors say, you know what? We want him to come back up here because he's done his job that we sent him down there to do. We sent him down there to wake them people up. He gave them every message we need him to give. And you know what? We need you to come back up here. You did your job. And if that's what they want, then that's, I'm cool with that too. 
I'd rather be back home in the eighth universe. It's more peaceful there than it could ever be down here. I'm disgusted with this planet. Trying to wake my motherfucking people up and everybody we see and try to wake y'all up for y'all to stay in the same fucking boat. Y'all pray for a leader. Y'all pray for somebody to speak out. But then when he come, you bitches don't ride with him. All throughout history, nigga. That's why Harriet Tubman was killing you motherfuckers. Every time you bitch-ass house Negroes want to turn around, we get in the middle of the field, and y'all want to turn around and go back to the plantation, motherfucker put a bullet right in the back of your motherfucking head. Get your bitch ass out of here. Nigga, you think you finna run back and tell the master our motherfucking way in and out this bitch? You already dead. They killing your kids. They vaccinating you. Hell, they won't even let me talk about vaccinations no more. My whole channel is sold up. I'm just blocked on YouTube. I'm tired of being blocked on YouTube. I'm tired of making backup pages. I'm tired of being blocked. Every time I'm blocked, I gotta make a backup. I'm tired of that shit, nigga. This ain't no fucking game. I'm not finna keep putting truth out here, then get censored for it, and then gotta make a backup page, and then get censored again.